the R the RTX 3060 Ti launched and it's gone. Yeah, it's gone already. It's you know gone. what's crazy? Like we speculated in our review that the timing of the launch, along with the pricing, suggests that Nvidia is targeting would be console buyers. And it seems like Nvidia really played, other than not being able to make enough cards to fill the demand, uh, Nvidia really played their cards right, going aggressively after this launch window that slightly preceded the console launch with their high price products so that they could get as much revenue as possible out of the people that wanted next gen and had the coin to spend and then followed up with like this kind of this one two three like you know punch punch uppercut combo with a 400 dollar product that happens to be just exactly what a next gen console costs that's shipping right as you cannot buy a next gen console in time for the holidays I mean, I, I saw a lot of people criticize us for pointing out that a PlayStation 5 and an RTX 3060 Ti are the same price, saying, well, what about the rest of the computer? You got to remember who our audience is, guys. Like, we're talking to computer enthusiasts. I think it's a fair assumption that they own something that's like, I mean, what, a Sandy Bridge at worst, probably? And yeah, you could yeah. pair a, like a 2600K or a 3770K, like an Ivy Bridge processor, you could pair that with a 3060 Ti. You'd be a little bottlenecked or whatever, but that's how a lot of people upgrade their systems piecemeal. You do the GPU now, and then a couple years down the road, uh, you go and you do like a CPU motherboard upgrade or whatever the case may be. My girlfriend is running a 2600K and a 1080. Yep. That's because you don't love her very much. I know. I know. I get it. I get it. My my wife's running. That a, is not fair. My wife's running a thirty-seven seventy K, so not much better. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, I don't even think she has like an eighty series card, and it's older than that. I think it's like uh, I think it's nine hundred family, like a nine seventy or something. So huh, you're yeah, wrecked. yeah, yeah. That's a self burn. That's a self a self burn <laughs> right there. Um. The craziest thing about this is that I wasn't even willing to give NVIDIA the benefit of the doubt. We scripted our video before we had any indication that there would be shortages in the 3060 Ti. And we pretty much, we reported proactively that there would be shortages <laughs> of the 3060 Ti. Very irresponsible. This this goes back to a conversation we've had multiple times and a long time ago um, yeah. about how like you could probably make review videos for graphics cards before the graphics cards come out. Um, but this is now like you could probably do graphics card news before yeah. the graphics card news comes out. It's like we're we're moving forward. We the totally pulled it thickening. off, man. We totally pulled it off. We got away with one there. Man, we would have looked beautiful. so stupid. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we pulled it off. And uh, I was actually really worried because in the day before the launch, uh, news started coming out of retailers saying, well, actually, you know, we're feeling kind of bullish on this because we've got more supply of 3060 Ti than every other 30 series card combined up until this point. And I was like, oh, uh, OK, let's see how this goes. But no. Nope. It's, it's uh, while it seems like more gamers were able to get their hands on these than the other recent GPU launches, there were not enough to go around. And as usual, a big part of the problem is, of course, scalpers. Scalpers, <sighs> yes. You know what's really funny? I had someone blaming me for scalpers the other day. Like if, like if influencers didn't review products and say that they were good that people wouldn't know they were good and want them <laughs> there's still like launch events and stuff like what, what? like this about? somehow this is my fault so what i should lie i should say it's bad so that you can get one so because Why no one else will people, be in on the secret if people <laughs> like, if what? people didn't know products were coming out they wouldn't have to rush to buy them they'd have no idea <laughs> okay Come sure on. yeah exactly uh so anyway yeah looks like that whole thing is definitely happening they're going for anywhere from 600 to 750 bucks uh this card is i mean it's it's a great looking card um you shouldn't be paying that kind of money for it just please wait guys please okay wow here's one that went for msrp that's pretty sick wait who sold this okay glack 13 wow what a what a bro mm. you know what a bro Please or sis you know all good is, is this glack again what are you what are you talking what's about? what's up glack sorry i'm screen sharing right now i'm showing there's there's a seller oh. that's selling 3060 ti's for msrp Okay, hold oh. on a second. Who's this Glack? Is this just a store? Oh, you know what? 
I wonder if it's like a picture of it or whatever. I wonder if this is just a scammer. Oh. Because they've only got two feedback. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. To be clear, I'm not recommending you go buy a 3060 Ti from Glack over there. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I, that did not happen on the show today. I was All like right. wondering if it was some like offshoot of Galax or something. And the good news? Like, no, this is their like eBay store. The good news is that rumors of an AMD answer to the new card in January are starting to swirl, so we might get an RX 6700 XT. Uh, which will also be immediately sold out. Which will probably also be immediately sold out. I mean, if I'm AMD, like, I can only get so much 7 nanometer yeah. anything. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, the the CPU business unit's kind of the uh, company darling at the moment. <laughs> if yeah. I was AMD... Uh, I know where I, I know what I'd be doing with my uh, with my allocation. 